Hello and welcome back fellow Vuperians to Universe Sandbox and today we're going to be trying to cool down the sun. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I need to be serious about this. We're going to be cooling down the sun. For too long has the sun been this orangey, yellow, warm existence and it's time to make it cold because cold gang something colloid gang cold something all right we're gonna cool it down why because i wouldn't put earth to be touching the sun because it would be a meme so can i just turn down the surf oh my god i can very nice let's make the <laughs> it doesn't look very happy does it sounds like what the heck man this is so cold ironic i just turned up the heat for my room but i just turned down the heat for the entire solar system Alright, the temperature on Earth is starting to drop a little bit. Mm, global warming has been averted. We've done it. We've done it together. Alright, now let's see how close I can move Earth to the sun without there being catastrophic consequences for my actions. I always like it when there aren't catastrophic consequences for my actions. Maybe I should stop doing things that are so dangerous, but... Oh, look at that! Alright. Do we have a uh, pretty balanced temperature here now? We'll see. It may be a little bit too hot. <laughs> I mean, we're this is... Okay, to put this into perspective, how close the Earth is to the sun right now. Like, if we go onto Earth and look into the sky, this is what the sky looks like. Oh my... <laughs> ah, well... Mm. That is, uh... That is pretty large. Let's put that into perspective. Uh, I can't really put it into perspective. Oh, I can put it into perspective, actually. Uh, by cheating. One moment. If we go ahead and put the Earth and Moon over here. It's for testing purposes. Where's the Moon? Oh god, I've, I've lost everything. Where'd the other Earth go? Well, here we go. So if we go to this Earth, <clears throat> look into the sky for the moon. Where's the moon? Okay, I don't think we can see the moon because the moon... Oh! Oh, was that it? No, no, that is clearly not... Okay, it's not facing the direction where it'll get light from the sun, but you... You get the point. The sun is really large in the sky, and it's kind of funny, except for the fact that everyone is dying. Which, maybe you also find funny. I mean- ah! Okay, gonna stop breaking things now. Alright, so let's see the Earth's temperature. It's at 12.6 degrees Celsius, and it's going up, 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 up. As you can see, the trend is up, but very slowly up. Look at all the years pass by. Uh, well, the joke is we're so much closer to the sun that a day is like a year now. Hmm. Is a day actually like a year? Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Ah, uh, two days a year? Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and make the sun colder. Because that is my job. Alright, is the Earth stable now? No, the Earth is getting colder now, which means we can move it closer to the sun. Well, the sun looks really unhappy with this. We're just freezing the sun. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, see, that was a joke because of the word sun. Okay, I really need to turn on trails and labels so that I can see where Earth is. This is becoming a serious issue. Blind boy, that's why I have these. Have you ever seen me with... Oh, I can't see! See, that's cursed. Spike without glasses is cursed for a reason. One day I'll get contacts and you'll all be like, oh my god. For a while I did actually wear contacts. I don't know. I like I like the glasses. Oh no! I didn't mean to do Can I undo no? Oh. Damn. The earth hit the sun and it made it happy again. <laughs> Damn it! I was really hoping that we would do this with little collateral damage. Alright. We'll redo this. 
little collateral damage destroys the entire solar system for fun. Yeah, I know. Sometimes what I say doesn't make sense, but what matters is that it makes dollars. <laughs> Get it? Get it, YouTube money joke? As if ad rates were good right now. <laughs> Alright, Earth, how's it going? I need to figure out how to turn off these edit tools. There we go. Alright, what's your temperature like? Eh? Huh? And dropping, which means you have to get closer to the sun. Honestly, I'm gonna put you right next to the sun and see what happens. I, the point of this is to get the Earth to flow on the sun. I want it to be, like, floating on the sun, just right on the surface. You may say, spike the rush limit, but it doesn't seem to be kicking in, uh, and tidal forces don't seem to be doing too much damage, so... Actually, at this point, it's probably 100% tidal forces that are being exerted on the sun that are actually creating the heat. Uh, to test that claim, let's set the temperature of the sun to, like, 50 Kelvin. Oh! Oh no, tidal forces are actually beginning to cause a few issues. Um, but the, the Earth is cooling down, that's the good news. Um, well, that's slightly, slightly uh, problematic. But it looks like it's stopped, the Earth is no longer being ripped apart. So if we set its temperature to like 10, oh wow, it's actually staying pretty steady and normal. So considering how far away from the sun it is, um, I would consider that an absolute win, but can we get it closer? Science needs to know the answer. It's definitely going to get it ripped apart now. There's no way it's not. Oh, I knew it. I knew this was going to happen, but oh no, and it made the sun warm again. Ah, and now we're just being absolutely melted and pulverized. Oh, I hate it when that happens. What an unfortunate experience. Poor Earth. Alright. That, that's a little bit sad. Look at that giant cylinder orbiting the sun, sadly. Very depressing. Very depressing indeed. But I have one plan that's better than the other plan that I had that I didn't tell you guys about. Alright. Here we go. Here's the plan. We shrink the sun to make it as small as it physically can be while still being a star. Alright. Okay, this is going well so far. We've gotten rid of a 20th of the mass, 10th of the mass. Ooh, 20% of the mass. All right, this is increasing the chances of Earth survival. 70% of the mass. I think this is when it's gonna start being like, no, I can't do this. 50%. It's gonna become a gas giant soon. We have to keep track of when. Wow! We've actually reduced it by 60% and it's still a star. 70%. Wow! The sun was just fat the whole time. We're giving it a nice weight loss program. <laughs> Alright, 20%. How many Jupiters is this? What? Oh, it's still 186 Jupiters. Alright. Okay. See, all this unnecessary mass. We're really making it more more effective. 8%. Okay, so it has to be within 8%. Within 8% of the uh, mass of the sun. Let's see. Sun? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 8%. So we got it down by 92%, which is a pretty good weight loss program. That wouldn't be healthy to lose. No Alright, I'm going to take one moment to figure out like, so let's say you lost 98% of your weight. For that to still be, like, a normal weight. So, like, I weigh, like, 160. So let's say I got to this. So if this is 1, if this is 8% of my weight, then, okay, one cent. So uh, 100 divided by 8. Okay, so 12 and a half times, and then we go ahead and do that multiplied by 160. Man, that would be impressive if I got down from 2,000 pounds to this. That is, that is, this is literally the equivalent of me losing, uh, 
1,840 pounds. I could have done that in my head, but I had the calculator here. Wow, that that's pretty impressive, son. I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could. Uh, and if I were to just lose that right now, uh, if I... Um, I'd weigh 12.8 pounds, which that's, that's, that's impressive. All right. <laughs> I don't know why we stopped to do the BMI, BMI of the sun. Can someone quickly get the body mass index of the sun for me to make sure it's healthy? All right. So anyways, sun lost a lot of weight today, or at least mass. Uh, and now we're going to see if we can put the earth near it without it being ripped apart. Um, also, we have to cool it down so that that doesn't happen either. So surface temperature, let's bring it down to a nice... <gasps> what? It killed it! Why did it kill it? God, I hate it when I kill things accidentally. Oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try this again. Sun. 0 0.08 suns. Fantastic. We know we can survive that. Okay, and now we just get the surface temperature. Oh, it reduces the ma- mm. All right, we may not be able to do both. It may not be possible. One moment. Let's turn off calculated radius. Just so that it's not trying to do anything extra. Let's lock the mass. Oh? Hey, there we go. I think if we do- oh, that looks really cool, actually. I kind of like that. We get it's like 900 Kelvin, and then we, uh, that- uh, compare that to the actual- Oh, I did it! I hit the space button! Why does this keep happening to me? Oh my god, I keep accidentally destroying everything I'm doing! Alright, let's- let's redo that. Man, this is like Kerbal Space Program earlier. I'm messing everything up at every stage. I'm having a bad day. Oh, see, that's not even the right star. Oh, all right, okay. 0 0.08, done. Set it to like a thousand degrees, but lock that mass. See, I'm teaching you guys. This is This is how you do things. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Mass has been locked, set this to a thousand Kelvin. Oh, we got a really cool looking star. And now we go ahead and we add Earth really damn close. Not so close that we will have instant death. Is it going to get ripped apart? It doesn't look like it. Ooh. But there's a new perspective if you're on the uh, sunny side of Earth. Mmm, what a nice view. That's fantastic. What's the temperature like on the surface? It is warming up. That's probably to be expected when you're this close to the sun. I'm sure that the radiation is absolutely terrifying considering how close we are. Um, but that's not an issue. Most humans can handle excessive radiation, right? We've never had any mistakes concerning that. All right. Auto orbit. Oh my god. Look at that. We are almost touching the surface of the sun and surviving. All right, let's make the sun a little bit colder. Yep. All right, sun a little bit colder. Let's go ahead and bring it down to 800. Oh, now it's just boring looking and sad. All right, we'll, we'll bring it down to 2.7. I guess that's the lowest I can make it. But can I do the appear? Oh, whoa, it's just like kind of glowing, but a little bit. Yo, look at that. That's a very sad star. But Earth's temperature is almost stable. Oh my God. <laughs> We've almost balanced it perfectly. I mean, we can still get closer. This is getting very dangerous at this point. I don't know how much closer I can actually get before it considers it to be touching. Um, but this is pretty impressive, all right? 
This is pretty close. Mmm. Very good. Alright, come on. This all depends on the hitboxes in this game. Uh, Alright, I'm pretty much going to consider that touching. No! Oh! No, it be No! Oh, wow, that's very red. Um. Alright. We, we got as close as we could. <laughs> that's it. I, I think... I think we did... Wow, that is very red. Do you see the reflection off of my face? Very red. Alright, well, I guess we learned. Ooh. Oh, and now it's sad again. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm gonna throw a few Mercuries. Ooh, it just turns red and then it turns not red. I guess it's the temperature that causes it to glow like that. Wee. Very nice. Well, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time I can speak. Goodbye. Yeah. Ooh.